very scary. You don't even know what you're eating. It's something we do every week, grocery shopping. But now even the simplest of tasks come with the biggest of risks as the impasse in Washington could impact the food you eat. I think it's all a travesty. I think it's, it's just it's just a big mess. The FDA oversees 80 percent of the nation's food supply with growing concerns that without inspection, foodborne illnesses may not be caught. I mean, I don't want to go eat any produce now and then that's affecting my safety. Just in June of last year, the FDA investigated a multi-state salmonella outbreak of pre-cut melons that started right here in Indianapolis. 70 people got sick, more than 30 hospitalizations. Shoppers we talked to were worried without the FDA inspections, something like this could happen again. But in a series of tweets, the FDA commissioner said he was working to bring back inspectors as early as next week to inspect high-risk facilities such as soft cheese and seafood processing plants. Either way, consumers will be taking precautions and hoping the gridlock in Washington ends soon. I'm going to be very careful. I would make sure that whatever I buy, I, I make sure that I, I process it, you know, myself uh, more carefully.